Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request. The best uh, free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. With my Guru 10 discount promo code at checkout, you get 10% off. Where that commercial Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at Kap Kaplan content. Uh, this is QID 1432962. I'll help you on any test prep vendor's disease or its Kaplan because you can send me the QID and I can see it backstage. All right, a market maker is quoting WXYZ at 2010. So I always think it's helpful to play market maker so you're inside looking out on these questions. So as the market maker, I'm willing to buy at 2010. I'm willing to sell at 2014. I'm willing to buy eight round lots, 800 shares into my inventory at 2010. I'm willing to sell 15 round lots out of my inventory at, 24, uh, at uh, 2014. The firm receives a customer order to buy 100 shares of XYZ at 2014. Now, I've spent a lot of time telling you that uh, the customer, when he's on the limit side, goes on the same side as the market maker. In other words, if a customer gave me a market order to buy, he would pay my asking price. 2010 is my bid. This is put down there. And 2014 is my ask. Uh, however, I've said when the customer gives us a limit order, he's on the same side as us, and we have to display if his quote is the same or better than ours. Now, the trick on this question is there's no need to place this one in the book because I can fill it right now. It's executable. The customer says he wants to buy a thousand shares at 2014. I said, hey, what a coincidence. I'm willing to sell up to 1500 shares at 2014. So I fill the order. End of story. So this is uh, because it's the same. By the way, you also should have been able to get this by knowing that if you tried to display that order, you would end up blocking the market. The bid and the ask would be the same. So this is what we call an executable market order. If this was 2013, it would be a different answer. So the key is before you start, you know, trying to display the order or update the quote is to say, is this a limit order from the customer that can be executed uh, right now based on the market maker's quote? So by way of review, as a market maker, I've got a 2010 bid, 2014 ask, 8 by 15. I get a customer who says he wants to buy at 1,000 at 2014. I say, you're filled because I'm willing to sell 1,500 shares at that price. Anyways, remember, inch by inch, your 24 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your 24 is hard, and I'll see you for the next explication request. Bye-bye.